this is Mike Larchambeau with winbeta.org and today we're going to take a look at Office 2016 for Macintosh. That's the preview at least. So the preview for 2016 Office has just been released and it's been quite a while as the last version of Office for Mac was released in 2011. So this is a preview and the actual version will be out later this year so it's important to note there may be some bugs and glitches. That being said, let's take a look at the different applications included. Of course, we have Microsoft Word. If you use Word on the iPad or other mobile devices, this will probably look like a very familiar setup. On the left-hand side, you can create a new document, view recents, or open anything. And of course, because it's Microsoft, there's a direct click into OneDrive. So I can click right on my OneDrive and head right to my documents. If I head to the new section, we see it's filled with all the new templates. So I'm going to go ahead and open something. Let's open this. Family update. Okay, there we go. And first of all, we're going to notice that the layout has been updated. The color scheme has changed. Uh, and everything just looks a lot sharper. This is on the MacBook Retina display. And everything is very sharp and crisp now. In the upper left-hand corner, we see that the... Uh, Stoplight buttons have been changed uh, to match the latest version of OS X. It's a very flat design, so we have that universal uh, match now. So we can just scroll through this, and really, it's Microsoft Word, but the biggest thing here is going to be the UX update and design. See the different options we have at the top? And that's Microsoft Word. So we still have the ribbon bar up here. It's been, the coloring has changed. Uh, so we have the very gray and minimal look, and it looks just like Office on Windows and fits very well in with the Macintosh uh, OS design. So I'm going to close that. We're going to take a look at Excel. Allow it to access my keychain. There we go. Okay. And we have the same thing. So just like the other one, we have a matching design. We have the new recent and open buttons. And let's go ahead and open something. Let's see. Okay, there we go. And it's the same exact thing as last time. We just have a UX redesign in here. There's some new features bundled in. But for the majority, we're just catching up, creating a... Uh, there's, it's just a more uh, efficient design and something to match the operating system. Uh, this is not a stripped-down version. Like iWork, this is full... This is a full office suite, so you can dive in and do any work uh, that is needed. So let's see if we could do something. I'm going to select this. We're going to go chart design. And you can see I can easily change the design of the chart. Or I should be able to. There's still some bugs, as you can see. There we go. Okay. And you see the chart changes. And PowerPoint. Once again, the new design, there's a lot of great templates now integrated. So all the latest templates that everyone else has had for a while are finally here. And we can just go ahead. And there you go. Once again, you, uh, the ribbon bar has been slightly redesigned. Let's go ahead and play that. And we can make annotations. Ignore what I do because that's terrible. And lastly is Outlook. Most people are going to be familiar with Outlook because this is actually available now. Uh, it's bundled as the Microsoft Outlook app. It can be found from Microsoft's website. So Outlook, this was actually released as a preview. Uh, I'm sorry, not a preview. As a uh, This was released before anything else to replace the older version of Outlook, while the rest of the uh, Office applications you have to wait patiently for. So we have the mail screen here. We can jump to Calendar. Okay, nice calendar. We have the weather at the top of the calendar. We can change the location, or I can pick update my location automatically. And it will, eh, it's pretty close. It's not actually where I am, but good enough. Uh, people, tasks, and of course, notes. It's important to note that OneNote is actually not bundled with this. OneNote is available from the 
uh, App Store. So let's confirm. All right. Oh, you just saw my license key. Who cares? Okay. Yeah. Run and take it. Um, so here is OneNote. But this is, once again, not actually part of the Office Preview. Uh, you can see at the bottom of my doc, I have Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, and OneNote. OneNote is not part of this bundle. Uh, but as you can see, it fits right in with the other applications. So let's just quickly talk about what the big, besides the UX changes that we saw, um, you now have direct access to OneDrive. So I can just hit Files and Word, and we can go ahead and access all the files I've ever written, although it's a bit slow. Once again, it's a preview. And so now I can just, let's just find something. This is an old article I wrote, I believe. No, this was a research paper. This is a research paper I wrote. And you can see we just jump right in there, make adjustments. The web layout and the print layout. Okay, this is just Word. It's Word with a redesign. I'm gonna hit don't save. Okay, and the other thing is all the apps are here nicely in the in launch pad. So we have Excel, Word, Outlook, and PowerPoint. And like I said, OneNote's not bundled, but OneNote is over here. And we'll just swipe that away. So there you go. That is the Office 2016 preview. There's not a lot to it. There really isn't. It's just an updated version of Office that we've been waiting for for quite a while. There's tighter OneDrive integration and all the new templates you could want. Um, and it's really nice to actually just be using an application that looks modern because quite frankly Office 2011, which is a five-year-old application, uh, looked quite horrendous. So it worked well, it worked perfectly, uh, but it looked out of place. So go ahead, you can download the Office 2016 preview for Macintosh, which like I said will include Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Outlook. If you want to download Microsoft OneNote, you can do that separately. But this team of applications should definitely help you out. You can install this next to the existing Mac 2011 Office variation. So you can have both running on your computer at the same time. It's advised that since this is a preview, you of course don't download it uh, as your main Office suite. But to be honest, I've been using it and haven't had an issue. So basically take that as you want. Uh, lastly, almost forgot to include, now you can go into full screen mode. So you can go ahead and full screen the app, and I can swipe between the app and the desktop. Let's open something here, we'll open a few. So there's Word, so I've got Word in full screen, here's Excel in full screen, I can swipe back to the desktop, I can swipe up, and you can see they've been split. And there you go. That is Office 2016 preview for the Macintosh. You can check it out in the link below. We'll also have a overview of it on winbeta.org. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.